Hey guys, I'm uh, back for video number four of my 30 videos in 30 days experiment. So thanks for joining me and um, today I'm going to answer a question um, from somebody that posted a question uh, in the comments section. Um, and that person was Vintage Video Game Geek, um, who by the way is an awesome guy if you guys don't know him. Uh, he was actually my first subscriber and uh, he's just an awesome guy and thank you Vintage for asking the question. Uh, his question is, uh, talk about how and why you started your own business. So I think I mentioned it a couple videos ago that I, I'm an electrician uh, for my career. Um, and I've been an electrician my whole career, ever since high school. So going on 25 years, I guess, about now. I think I graduated high school in 93. So I probably I did the year before I graduated as well, I think. Anyway, I've been doing it a long time. It's all I've ever done is electrical work. That's all I know how to do. So anyway, um, uh, I guess in 2000, year 2000 is when I officially started my company, Dukes Electric. Um, but I didn't really work full time for myself until probably the following year or maybe a year and a half or so after I established it. Um, but uh, the story goes, I was um, at the time that I got my master's electrician's license, um, which in the state of Maryland, um, once you have your master's electrician's license or master trade license, you can start pulling permits and doing your own work legally. Um, and you can just, you know, establish a business with a, you know, a couple hundred hours to a, an attorney. Uh, and it does, that's all it really takes to get started. But um, I was very fortunate to get my electrical license pretty young. I think I was, um, I don't know, 25 maybe when I got my license. And um, at the time I was working um, at a very, um, I had a very easy job. And I was very energetic and had just got my electrical license. And I was finding myself pulling my hair out with boredom. I was doing electrical maintenance for a commercial building. So I was basically changing light bulbs and just fixing things. It was really just, I was just watching the clock and yawning all day. I was just so bored. So uh, I had the early shift with that company. So I worked from like 6 to 2.30. So, and this was before I had kids. So I was able to go, you know, leave work. And then I started doing side work uh, legally and, um, you know, finishing people's basements and hanging lights and ceiling fans and just kind of doing stuff like that on the side. Uh, it was all ethical. My, my boss had no problem with it because um, I did commercial maintenance, so there was no conflict of interest. And he fully knew that I was doing it and fully supported it. So anyway, long story short, over a period of time, I built up enough customers to where I was super busy, you know, doing my side work. Um, and I had a pickup truck, so I was able to, you know, to haul my tools around and, and throw materials in the back and and uh, you know go to people's homes after work and, and do small jobs and before I knew it um, I had a good reputation going and word of mouth spread and I had enough work to sustain myself so um, it was a scary thing to do um, to leave the comforts of an employer that had benefits and health insurance and all that kind of stuff and paid vacation to um, take the gamble and to go work for yourself um, but at the same time, it was a good opportunity to do it. It was before I had children, and my wife still worked full time. She was a teacher. So if it was going to happen, it was going to happen in that small little window of time before we had kids and before we had, um, you know, a, a bigger house. We, had, we were living in a townhouse at the time before we moved over here to the Eastern Shore and bought our, our, our bigger home. But um, there was a small little window of opportunity, and I decided to take it. Um, now... What made it really easy was my employer. Again, I mentioned he was very supportive. Um, he actually uh, let me work part-time at my full-time job as I transitioned into my self-employment, which is unheard of. So it was just amazing that he was cool enough to do that for me. And to, to make it even better, to this day, 15 years later, that same employer now subs me out as a subcontractor and I still work at that building as a subcontractor. So they like me enough to want to keep me on and not replace me with another one of their own employees. So it really worked out wonderfully. Um, so that's the how part and uh, Vintage also asked why. Um, I guess, uh, you know, there's a lot of draw to being your own boss. Um, some It's not for everybody. It has its ups and downs. There's a lot of um, struggle, you know, I guess on the financial end sometimes because I don't get a steady paycheck. So I have to, um, if I don't work, I don't get paid. 
and sometimes sometimes I'll do a job and I won't get paid for a while and you have to kind of play with all that stuff so it is a little difficult sometimes managing the finances because you don't get a steady paycheck every week um, or every two weeks or whatever um, but also I have to pay for my own health insurance um, and when you go on vacation when I go on a vacation I not only have to save up for that vacation I have to take a week off and not get a week of checks in the bank <clears throat> so you have to be very organized and disciplined and prepared uh, to, to work for yourself but um, you know as as small businesses go it's it's about as easy as it gets because I don't even really consider myself a business although technically I am legally I have an established um, incorporation and I'm an employee of that corp incorporation but um, I really consider myself a freelancer because I just I don't have any employees besides my wife technically we're both on the books as employees but um, it's just me I just work out of my truck and I I've been staying busy for a long time thankfully um, but I have 15 years of customers under my belt now um, and it took a long time to get that level of comfort where I don't have to worry about work coming in all that much whereas initially that was a big fear is I would slow down I wouldn't have any work and I there's no money coming in so that was very difficult initially to um, <clears throat> deal with that stress and to keep that going but thankfully I stuck to it and uh, now that I'm well established um, I love it it's really been a blessing in my life it's been a great decision and it awards me a lot of uh, benefits that I enjoy now I probably could make more money honestly working for someone else especially if you consider the benef consider the benefits that I might get from a company especially that I have 25 years experience under my belt and I have my license and all that kind of stuff but I really value that control over my schedule I get to take off whenever I want um, if, you know I can come home whenever I want I can work weekends whenever I want I have complete control over my schedule so I build my work schedule around my personal schedule which a lot of people can't do um, so that's the biggest benefit to me um, I really value that family time that I get to kind of have a lot more than a lot of people have and also coupled with I think some of you guys know we homeschool our kids so you couple my self-employment with our homeschooling and it really is kind of a unique lifestyle we can go on vacations and you know off season like some people can't um, and we have a lot of freedoms and a lot of control over our life that we, we like to have and that we we value a lot so it's not for everybody it, it's it has its it's um again as I mentioned it, it's got some stresses but overall I think it's a lot less stressful um, because I don't have to worry about an employer or an employee that I don't like it's it's all under my control and um, it's about as simple as you can get I mean I go out there I, I do work and I come home and it, it, that's it I don't have to there's really no job stress the only stress that really comes with my job is sometimes when work might slow down or just trying to figure out a fix a problem or something but other than that I have very minimal job stress so I really enjoy what I do and I'm really thankful that I'm able to work for myself and um, I guess that answers Vince's questions as to how and why I started working for myself. So thank you very much, Vintage, for the question. I do appreciate it. And I hope this wasn't too boring. I know it wasn't about video games, but um, I figured I'd tell you a little bit about myself since Vintage asked. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.